Matisse Feibel became the player that the Boomers were looking for. With his elite defense and above-the-rim play, Matisse quickly became a favorite for coach Brian Gorgian, the players, and also the fans back in Australia. Really quick, before I begin, if you guys can smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, this seriously makes a huge difference to my videos and lets YouTube know to recommend this video to a brand new audience. So thank you so much for doing that, and let's begin. On the heels of his first all-defensive selection and just his second NBA season, Matisse Feibel became a key part of the Australian Boomers' quest for a medal at the Tokyo Olympics. After Ben Simmons decided not to take part in the Olympic Games, Matisse Feibel became the player that the Boomers were looking for. With his elite defense and above-the-rim play, Matisse quickly became a favorite for coach Brian Gorgian, the players, and also the fans back in Australia. After being selected to play for the Boomers, Feibel, who holds dual citizenship in Australia and the United States, said his decision to play the Aussies was an easy one. Having a dual citizenship, people were like, wouldn't you rather play for Team USA? And for me, it was an easy one. I always want to be a part of this. He added that he feels a profound appreciation for the Australian culture and the Boomers team culture. There's something special about the culture here. It's special being a part of something that people care about. In Australia, we take pride in every little victory. It's been huge to be a part of the pride of being an Australian. Playing in his first Olympics, and his first major tournament for the Boomers, Matisse Feibel's play was simply outstanding. He averaged for the tournament 7.8 points a game, shooting just under 63% from the field. And what was really impressive about Matisse's game in the Olympics was his ability to knock down shots from downtown. During his star performance against Argentina, Matisse knocked down three from five from beyond the arc, and his shot was steady throughout the tournament, which will make all Sixer fans really happy for the upcoming NBA season. Matisse also took his sticky fingers over to Tokyo. He led all Olympians in total steals, 18, which averaged out to be three per game in only 23 minutes of game time. His on-ball defense was amazing and jammed up any other of the other country's key offensive threat. If there was an all-defensive team for the Olympic Games, Matisse would have been one of the first picked. His ability to pick pockets, play the passing lanes, and his flat-out run the floor led to a lot of easy points for the Boomers in the Olympics. His best Olympic performance came when it mattered most, in a bronze medal match against Slovenia. He had 11 points, 5 from 6 from the field, 5 rebounds, 4 assists and 3 steals in the Boomers 107-93 win, securing the Australian Boomers' first ever Olympic medal. Matisse started the game for the first time all tournament, replacing Daly in the starting lineup where he took on NBA superstar Luka Doncic, who has been red hot all tournament. Besides some late shots from Luka Doncic, Matisse Feibel kept Luka quiet all game, and it was because of Matisse's great play on the defensive end and offensive end that helped the Boomers secure their first medal at Olympic Games. It was bronze, but it still meant so much to so many, or as Matisse called it, rose gold. That will wrap it up for today's video guys, thanks for watching, uh, if you can smash the like button that really helps my channel out, uh, if you like this type of content please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, cheers.